my four favorite films I mean, they're always changing. I wish I, I was just going to say, I wish I had a book to like write down all the films I've seen. Then That's letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> Ferris Bueller's Day Off has always been one of my favorite films, and I've watched it countless times growing up. Oh, also, I loved Back to the Future. I was obsessed with Michael J. Fox. Fish Tank by Andrea Arnold. It was a reference for Starling Girl, I think, um, yeah. and it's shot in a very similar way. I think I love that style of filmmaking that's very immediate, and I just love Andrea Arnold's directorial voice. I think it's so unique. Of an Age by Goran Slevsky. He's an Australian filmmaker. It's this film about two men who have a romantic encounter, and it's set over like a 24-hour period, and then they you jump five years ahead and you see how they've diverged and come back together five years later. And it's uh, just so touching and life affirming. I love Australian cinema, so I have to have an Australian film in there. As of right now, we've got American Movie, my favorite documentary of all time, pretty classic. We've got Badlands, another classic, um, two of my favorite performances in there. Love Liza, not as much of a classic, um, but my favorite Philip Seymour Hoffman performance, Diving Bell and Butterfly, based on a true story about this guy, this writer who um, had a car accident and was paralyzed. And the only thing that he can control was blinking one of his eyes. So him and one of the nurses came up with this alphabet uh, for how he could communicate, which was basically like Morse code with his eyelid. Oh. And so he write, wrote a book with his eyelid. Oh my god! And it's I haven't about seen that. that. It's beautiful. I love to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I have to watch that. 